Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to add animation from Mixamo library to any character from our sample scenes in Cascadeur. So let's go to sample scenes and select Unreal 5 Mannequin and open it. The character is loaded and now we have to export it to FBX. So go to File, Export FBX, Scene. And let's save it here to a Mixamo folder. Let's name it Unreal Engine 5. So briefly, Mixamo is a library of animations and characters. They also have default characters there, but we're going to work with the scene that we have just exported from Cascadeur. As an example, I think we can pick any animation really. Well, there's this punching, for instance. Now press pause and let's replace this ninja with our character from Cascadeur. Click Upload Character. And here we can just drag and drop our file to Mixamo. And let it upload for a while. Once the character is loaded, we can check it in the preview window to see if everything works really. And if everything seems alright, which it does, you can click Next. And now we can instantly see our character with this punching animation applied to it. Uh, we can try a different one, because um, why not? Well, Capoeira seems to be an interesting one. I had to double check it on the internet to see if I pronounced it correctly. I think it looks cool, so let's try to use it with our character. So we have the animation here, and now we need to export it from Mixamo. Click download and let's check the settings. We keep FBX as our format, 30 frames per second. The only thing we need to export it without skin because we already have the mesh in Cascadeur and we want to avoid any possible issues with tracks and layers which we already have set up for our character. So we're just going to download the joint rig with animation and import it into our scene in Cascadeur. Now let me show you how to do that. So here we change nothing except for choosing without skin and click download. Now we go back to Cascadeur, go to File, New Scene. And just drag and drop the FBX onto the viewport. So the animation that we've downloaded is a bit longer, so let's set the timeline to say 200 frames. And extend it, so it fits, there we go. Uh, see, currently you don't see anything in the viewports because we need to go to the joint mode. So now we can see the joint rig that we've imported and we can play back the animation. Now to copy all the animation, select the whole rig and all the frames on the timeline. All the 144 frames of the animation. And yes, I'm still trying to avoid saying Capoeira as much as I can. Now we go back to our previous scene, switch to the join mode as well, and select all the joins of our character. Now we'll make sure that we have enough frames on the timeline to fit the animation. Let's set it to, say, 150. We extend it, and select all the frames on the timeline. Even if you select more frames, it's not a big deal. Just make sure you've selected enough frames to fit the animation. Now back at our animation scene, we go to Edit, Copy Interval, or press Ctrl Shift C. And in our character scene, we go Edit, Paste Interval, or Ctrl Shift V. And we have our animation. Everything seems to be working perfectly. 
So once we have the animation applied to the character, we can further work with it in Cascadeur. Well, for starters, we can reduce the amount of keyframes. We can select this interval to remove by pressing Alt-F and replace it with interpolation. And this can be done to the whole animation, uh, which would end up having less keyframes for you to work with. So changing the animation would become much easier if you choose to do so. You can shorten some intervals, change some trajectories, raise a hand, a leg, you name it, and make any changes that you see fit. You can cycle the animation and pretty much use all the tools that Cascadeur has to offer. You can also use the auto posing rig as well. Just go to auto posing mode. Now, in order to work with this kind of animation in auto posing mode, what you can do is double click the pivot point to select all the points of the rig, then select all the frames on the timeline, activate interval edit mode, and click auto posing switch lock. So what it does, it activates all the points of the rig, making them blue, so that the pose would not break. It needs some time to calculate. And now you can use auto posing for your animation, which is a much more convenient way to animate in Cascadeur. You can select the knees, the elbows, and chest, and deactivate them, which would allow auto posing to calculate their positions automatically. It especially makes sense when you reduce the amount of keyframes to make sure you have better control over the poses on the keyframes that you chose to keep. Or maybe you can just use it to work on a specific pose at a specific keyframe. In the future, this whole process of reducing the amount of keyframes, activating the key points, will be fully automated in Cascadeur, which will make the whole process much easier. And that's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and thanks for watching.